what's up it's your host mark and yeah today we're going to be playing a little bit of uh, another game it's called demon g drive i don't have a controller sadly i uh do have this thing a joystick but i still can't figure out how to configure it and also after it ruined a word document i was going to use for school by consistently typing W, I just gave up on it for a little while. I'm probably going to sort it out over the weekend or whatever. But for now, let's play some VMNG Drive. I don't have as much time as I usually would. But let me explain. It's literally, you have cars, you crash them, and it uh, is like really beautifully crashes. As it lasts, it's a bootleg Russian mod. Well, we'll get into that maybe in another video. But let's play. And so you can see I've installed some mods, some for cars, some stuff. Uh, but right now we're going to be reenacting uh, Mad Max. If you know what Mad Max is, comment down below and also tell me when you watched it because I wonder how many of you watched it when you're like uh, not supposed to because PG-13 and um, yeah, I am only 12. Don't tell anyone. Uh, just put that into the world. <laughs> Whatever. Let's actually play. And yeah, I am recording right now. I'm gonna check. So yeah, um, yeah, I'm recording. Good. That would have been embarrassing if I wasn't. Oh, and I just realized it still says Sidonia under my name. Yeah, you can see how lazy I am. I didn't even change the title. Ah, whatever. But still. Let me explain. Let me explain to you what I mean by this game having amazing physics. So I'm just going to grab one of the stock vehicles in the game. So I already have one stock vehicle. I'm going to grab another one. Let's see. What kind of other car? Ah, yeah. It's a nice old... junk car that we wouldn't really feel too bad about crashing because sometimes I actually feel a little bit sad when I crash some cars. Gonna crank the volume. Way up. And if you're wondering uh, how you could get this game, you can install it on Steam for like 20 bucks I believe. It's for the humble bundle. I don't know why, but my frame, frame rates are dropping. So, see, but I want to demonstrate to you that. Yeah, I'm just gonna. Go. There you go. So that was like, I got to check how many miles per hour, but not too much. It wasn't too bad of a collision, not like crazy or anything. So you can see kind of like the damage that you would expect in real life. Like hood's a little bit messed up, front bumper is dented in, and yes, yeah, says PSP. Shameless self-production. Uh, there's promotion. I don't know why I said production. Ugh. But still, like, it's kind of the damage that you would expect. And yeah, and the truck... Yeah, and you can see the damage on the truck, too. Like, doors a little bit banged in. A little dent on the side. This guy would be driving away from it with a fat insurance payout. And this guy would be stuck repairing his car for the rest of his life. Because that thing is... The front of that thing is just gone. You can't fix that. You need a whole new front. Except for that little thing that... Yeah. So, if you uh, so I'll talk about Mad Max, and we're gonna get to it. So, I'm gonna make like a two car chase because otherwise my computer is gonna hate me and it's gonna blow up. So, in any case, what car should we use? Which ones look the most Mad Maxy? Also, I'm gonna be letting the AI drive. So, 
like all these cars are like the black or and so the ones that have like this little tiny logo mean that it's official these are mods mods are like totally allowed but they're just not official then I've got to pump out the cannon because it's gonna blow up my game if I spawn it with the cannon but let's replace current sorry my neck is a little bit stiff and so so you can see, it looks exactly like what you expect from a vehicle from Mad Max. But yeah, and once again, I'm saying my frame rates are bad because uh, uh, OBS, this is what I'm using right now. I don't know why there was such a long pause there. Took me a little while to realize that I wasn't using NCH anymore, which is another thing that I was using prior, uh, prior to this. But in any case, let's grab another vehicle you would probably see. I'm gonna go with the. Should I pick the sport? Or is it really any different? This looks like it's in the color, but I like the orange color, so. We're gonna go with that, and uh, mm, I'm gonna grab the camera, swivel it down a little bit. But yeah, technically you're supposed to play with like a controller or a wheel. You can play with the keyboard too. It's just not as recommended because you can't put variable power down. I'll talk about that in a later video. But anyway, I have to wrap up my recording soon, so we only have. I don't know why I did that like one time for one save so I'm gonna just set, uh, set the AI to go into the AI menu and just hit station and then I'm gonna go 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 yeah it's not as bad when it gets up to speed but yeah basically and now there we go he's chasing me wouldn't you know it? What exactly we set him to do? Obviously, I'm gonna cut this thing short. This thing is actually super slow. And it's called a sport. Pressing forward, but look, he's actually chasing us, and he's actually, I think, actually faster than us. And this is called the sport car, right? This is called the sports car. Like, what the heck? When I get a sports car, I want it to be fast. Also, this thing has pop up headlights. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it does. Look, pop up headlights. Except there's nothing for them to pop out of. Yeah, I gotta have to actually watch where I'm going because I'm gonna bust up my car and it's gonna not be good, but. I'm gonna just. I need to edit a video after this, so I'm definitely gonna end this by like 8.50 ish so I could edit another video. This is where we really shine, like on flat ground. He shines on hills. Also, if you're wondering why I'm like, yeah, this thing does not have really excellent ground deformation, only because otherwise it would blow up computers that are not just ex. Is that a UFO? Is that an actual UFO? I knew that there was a UFO on this map, but is that a UFO? Well. The little green men have been confirmed. Uh, 
Okay, yeah, I'm just busting up the panels on the car, so the damage indicator is telling me that. Also, if you prefer the speedometer to go in kilometers per hour, then tell me. Because I would like to adjust everything to your preferences. Also, none of the cars in this game are real. Oh god, he actually got me. Actually, I had forgotten about him for a little while there. And I was rudely awakened. Just remember to beat him next time. And I'm gonna be doing a lot more cool videos with this. Okay. I forgot that this thing was originally a drift car. You guys are not doing that so much. I keep on accidentally like doing donuts in this thing. Spinning out. So my back is just destroyed us. Gone. Also, this is how bumpers actually work in real life. There's like this little ugly plate of metal underneath of them. Also, the shadows in this game are really helpful. But gotta have a runny nose. And I'm just waiting, but you see, like, I see a shadow of him, uh, and he's like a little mohawk on top of his car, and I'm like, yep, got a juke. Also, if I were doing this and I'm just pressing and I'm just mashing W, uh, I'd just like to point out that please subscribe if you have not already subscribed because it really does help out the channel. I know that YouTubers say this all the time and you've gotten bored of hearing it, but it actually is very helpful to know that we have more people on, on, on board because then we get to extend our, cha our channel out to more people, more people see our channel, and it kind of goes on and on and on. So, it's actually really helpful. Oh, and there's the border of the map. Better turn away. Oh, and there's a city in over there. I know that there's a city. I've gone to it before, but I've never gone to it from this angle. Also, I'm surprised that neither of us have crashed yet. Yeah, I was checking if you crashed. Because AI could just randomly just do that. Okay, I'm gonna die now. It's official, I'm gonna die. Because when the radio is leaking, my engine's gonna overheat, right? And then after that, I'm just screwed. My engine's gonna blow up. So, I bet, uh, so let's just say that I get to the city and I'm safe. Gotta take it. Oh, damn. And he's like right on our tail, so I can't take it slowly. And he slipped us. Like this always happens. Okay, I don't know how I survived that one. If it was in real life, I would have gotten shot from behind, from the beginning. But, yeah. See, like our engine's heating up, heating up, heating up. And we're slowly running out of gas. Come on, let's see if we can make it to the city. Oh, it's starting to rattle. Okay, yeah, that's a good sign. Come on, faster, faster, faster. Let me get there quick. Where this guy takes us out. Or we get taken out by our own engine. There it is! Right there! Looming on the horizon! Let's see if we can make it! We can make it! We can make it! I believe in this hunk of junk. We can make it! Ah, no we can't. Yeah, 
Yep, we're dead. I'm just gonna stop the AI. Yep, we're officially dead. Yeah, he's just gonna uh, step out. Of, uh, yeah, there's no one in the car, but there, if it was a real life, he would have. Uh, he would like. He's gonna like step out of the car and just shoot us on the spot, and then just like flip over our car and drag it all the way to his home base. But oh my God, guys, look at his roof! I think that he's like taking a flip. No way. He's actually pretty beat up. I actually did not realize this. Yeah, his engine's dead. If we had gotten a little bit further, we would have actually made it. Can't believe our rotten luck. But still, that was the Mad Max episode. Feel free to leave a like if you like this video. Leave a comment if you want to see more or if you want to see something else. And uh, yeah, make sure to subscribe if you have not already. And I will see you in the next episode of BMG Drive. Or Minecraft. Or War Robots. See ya.